Ah, ah, Drossen, is it? Get it, mate. Get the crank. A little windy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good view. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ah, nice paint job, mate. G'day, Frank. I'll be right. Ah, where's the water? Wow, that tide is a long way out. Ah, kind of me. Ah, a bit windy, is it? How do you farm wind? <laughs> oh, I'm just blown away by that sound. I've never been this close to one before. That's nuts. Huh. Good. It's got a big oil leak or something. It's very black. Hmm. Yeah, there's another one down there too. It's exactly the same. Almost looks like it's been on fire. Yeah, that one that's not turning, its blades are backwards. Interesting. Yeah, maybe they put the assembler wrong. Yeah, <laughs> put the propeller on backwards. <laughs> this bird, what are you doing, mate? <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it on camera. It's a bird flying right in front of us. Just cruising. <coughs> Hello, mate. <laughs> that sound is just nuts. Heck yeah. That's nuts. It's like a cave over there. Yeah. And not many people would go down there. The whole car's rocking from the wind. There's something red out in the water, a boy. Yeah, I'd imagine it'd get pretty rough down there. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's all that's why the coast is all chewed out. That's it. Look at that, we're on the edge of Australia. Ah, okay, mate. Shut up, it out. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yard prospecting. Feel that? Feel we it? just found. Yeah, that's got no weight to it. 
looks like a kangaroo tail. I'll wash it. Hang on, let's give it a bush clean. What is it? It's hard to read on camera. Give it a clean, man. I can see the head. Is it a shilling or is it a one? What is it? What the? We just fine. I don't know. <laughs> the old Equinox 800, eh? What do you reckon? That's why I marked it. It sounded good. I was like, no, there's something there. Australia. It's yeah. kangaroo. Kangaroo. Skippy the bush kangaroo. Look. Half. Half penny? Half penny. Wow. No shit. I think. Oops. It's wearing. Yeah, I reckon that's half and that's penny. Half penny or a hay penny? I can't focus on it. That is. It's a half penny. Wow. All right, on the back there should be a date. Holy crap. Ha! Huh. Can you read it or not? I can't. There. Oh, focus your box of chocolate. No, hang on. That little round thing. Grab that. Huh. No idea. What the? Interesting. Put it on the ground and see if it, if it doesn't ring up. No, it does. Yeah, yeah that's it. What on earth is this place? Huh. That is freaking weird. So your house, mate. Get out, mate. This, this here, that's an old tile lifting machine for roof tiles. Look, Cerakota roof. There's a bunker. What the? Bro. What? Okay. So with all these parts we found, all in very close proximity to each other, we came up with a theory, Mark and I, because this kind of looks like a part of a fishing rod. So does that. And that's definitely the back off of a watch. Some form of lead weight, some buttons, and a 1953 half penny. So our theory was guy was working on his fishing rod and it broke because it looks like he might have lost a tooth so his fishing rod broke he cracked the wobbles snapped it in half that's why the eyelet come off ripped his shirt off so the buttons went flying broke his watch so he cracked the shits, dropped the half penny, then he walked across the road to the pub. <laughs> That's the story we made up anyway, just out of this random stuff we found in the old backyard. Way down the coast. <laughs> there you go. Alright, so wrapping up from the video, Mark and I spent an overnight trip away, supposedly going fishing. The wind was insane. 
we had a good time anyway. Didn't go fishing. Didn't even get the rods out of the car. But I did get the metal detector out at the end of that first day and a portion of the next morning before we headed out of town. And we found some things in this backyard, which is a very old property. And what looks to be, I'm not sure, could be a part of an old clock, could be a part of a fishing rod, considering where we found it. And this is a, a beach area, right here, back of an old watch. We thought it was silver, it's actually copper. But hey, Swiss made. Diamond tooled, back of a watch. And what we think whoop, is an eyelet off of a beach fishing rod, possibly. Kind of hard to say. It's brass. Then there's a lead weight right here. Whoop, whoop. Found some buttons, which are really interesting. So the one on the right here looks... Potentially military, not sure, but some very old metal buttons. These are all found within, you know, a quarter of a meter of each other. And then this, which I've decided to clean up. I've got plenty of photos, I'll chuck them in. But a 1953 Australian half penny. Pretty damn cool. Now, what it looks like now is not what it looked like. It looked like that before. And that's even after I've cleaned them up. It was trashed. And so I was messing around and decided I'd clean it up. Just out of curiosity. So anyway, I might uh, chuck a video together. It's now January the 1st, 2022. 21 is gone. Thank Christ for that. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. If I put this in, I do. If I don't, well, ta-da, mate. Have a good one.